Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with the logic for the registration. So in the previous video we worked with the login. And now let's work with the register. And of course also we need to work with the errors, but not in this video. In this video I'm going to work with the logic, the register. So if we are here and right now nothing happened. Let's open the VS code and inside the source directory components in the register. First, we are going to do the similar we have done with a login. So we need to create a constant for the email password. And also here we have the name and the password confirmation. And then create a method for the handle the registration and so on. So first let's create a constant and first is going to be the name and also set name and initially so use state first import from react and initially an empty string then create a constant for the email and also set email which is going to be equal with use state and initially an empty string. Create a constant for the password now and set password equal with use state initially empty string also and now the last one is for the password confirmation. So let's say password underscore confirmation or you can uh, change this for example and when we send the request at the password confirmation but I'm going to type like this because in the backend Laravel is going to uh, confirm this name. So then let's say set password confirmation, which is going to be equal with the use state and initially an empty string. Okay, now let's go down there and here we have the input for the name, type text and add the value, which is going to be name. And also we need to add the on change event, which is going to be equal with event and say set name to be event dot target dot value like this. And let's do the same for the other inputs. So here we have the email first add the value to be email and then the on change event which is going to be the same so add an event and call set email event dot target dot value sorry a value like this now for the password and the password confirmation so here add the value for password And on change event, it's going to be equal an event set password event dot target dot value. And the last one is the password confirmation. In here, so value is going to be password. confirmation and on change event is going to be equal with event and call the set password confirmation event dot target dot value okay now on the form on submit of this form 
we are going to call the handle uh, register method so we need to create that register let's copy come up here and create a constant with that name which is equal with an async function it's going to receive the event and first we are going to call the event dot prevent default and then the same thing we need to import also axios from uh, this from api axios so let's copy and paste it here and then call a send a request to the slash register we are going to use try catch so try and then catch for any error and for now we are just going to do something like this i'm going to copy and paste and also console log the error for now so access post register now register and we need to add the email password the name and the password confirmation so let's say name email password and password confirmation and then call the set email set password and empty string also set password confirmation to an empty string and the last one set name to an empty string also we need to uh, define this navigate here so import the link and the use navigation navigate from the react react router dom we need to define that and i'm going to define it here so create a constant and say navigate is going to be equal with use navigate and then if everything is okay we navigate to the home page i'm going to save and let's run again the artisan migrate fresh so we don't have any user ah uh, yeah we are in the front end so for that we are in the front end let's open the back end i'm going to open the terminal i term here let's zoom it and let's cd in the sites directory and cd in the laravel react api and here i'm going to say artisan migrate fresh okay now if i open the table plus and let's see the laravel api inside the users we don't have any user okay clear this up and let's open and if i try to log in here so inspect the elements just to see if we have the csrf token and we don't have so let's clear this here is the backend so i'm going to clear refresh and now if i refresh we have the csrf token and if i type test example dot com and add the password we don't have the user so we are going to have an error say login and as you can see we have an error here go to the console and yeah we have 422 request failed okay response data this credentials do not match good i want to clear this and let's go and log in now uh, register sorry here we have the csrf token and let's say uh, test and test example dot com you can add also 
another user just I'm going to say testexample.com and add the password and let's say register and as you can see we redirected back to the home page and if I open the table plus and refresh we have a user here with name test testexample.com password and so on and now if I uh, clear this refresh also let's clear this up and let's go and log in with that user so test example dot com and add the password let's say login yeah we redirected back and we don't have any error okay so now we have the login and register working with our react and the backend laravel breeze api i hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next video all the best